Welcome everyone. We have an upcoming artist named Talon CB. And Talon, do you want to tell everybody about yourself, like uh, who you are and the way you got involved with music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my name right now as an artist is Talon Space CB. And um, I've been writing music most of my life and I've been a singer most of my life as well. I started as a, a young kid, you know, sitting next to the radio and uh, copying the sounds of, of all kinds of artists like Chris Brown, Usher. I would sit next to the radio in my house and uh, pretty much go through a bunch of stations and anytime I found someone that has some super quality vocals, I would try to uh, imitate their sounds and, and see if I could copy it. And that turned into me getting up in front of my family with, with you know a little mic or something like that and doing shows at night. And that, that's what made me find out my love and my passion for music. But it wasn't until high school until I had my first, you know, big concert, and that was in choir, which I got up in front of the school, I sang some Billy Joel, and uh, I had a great time. Right on, right on. So we got a list of questions that we're gonna ask Talon. Right, now what are your hobbies out there for, you know, subscribers or your fans that wanna get to know you or followers? I'm big into jewelry, which I feel like a lot of artists are. Um, I like my cars, I like going fast, I like uh, unique things, and uh, I'm, I'm into music. I'm into all kinds music. of music, from, from hip hop to opera, and you know, all kinds of different cool things like that. Right, right, that's good, that's good. That's totally awesome. Okay, so, all right, you mentioned your, some of your favorite singers already, but I'm gonna ask you one more time. Who are your favorite singers, or what kind of music are you into? Um, that's a good question. Right, right now, my biggest vocalist that I think I really look up to is uh, Sam Smith. Uh, he, he's just, you know, an all-around amazing artist, and uh, I want to have a vocal variety and range like he does. So I do a lot of studying on Sam Smith. Exactly. He's a, he's a genius. Sam Smith is, you know, yeah, stay course. with me, hit those higher notes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I mean, he's he's pretty good at what he does. Exactly. So, yeah. Tell him, what inspired you to start singing in the first place? That's a tough one, I guess. I guess I just really liked hearing uh, good vocalists, and I wanted to be a part of a group one day, or, or a part of a, you know, uh, an artist repertoire that could say, I, you know, I'm a good vocalist as well. I want to be one of the top vocalists, the top writers out there, the top musicians. Um, so in inspiration just came from hearing other artists. That's, that's, that's big. That's golden right there, mm -hmm. right on. All right, um, do you write your own lyrics or do you go off of covers or is it how you're feeling about the music? Yeah, that's a good question. So I get beats, you know, sent to me or, or I look through a list of beats that, that I could buy and stuff like that. And uh, I pretty much sit down, I'll go through it and, uh, you know, try to feel out some vibes. And as soon as something hits me, I know it. And uh, it takes me, you know, an hour or two and, and I write everything by myself. A whole song will be laid out and I'll be in the studio hopefully within a couple hours after that starting to record, starting to jot down these ideas. Right, right. Now, how long does it take you to write a song usually? Um, it really depends. Some, some songs I can have done within an hour and then some songs take me, you know, a week or so to write. It, it just depends on, on how I'm feeling about it, how you know how everything goes. Sometimes you get a little bit of block and you gotta take a break. You know? <laughs> That's what happens in the music world, you know? <laughs> um, let's talk about videos, yeah. production-wise, okay? So, like, um, when you're shooting a production, right? Yeah. How long do you plan for in that production to shoot that video? And how long usually does the process take you? So from start to finish, I would say the process is, is roughly a week. It starts normally, uh, you know, coming up with scenes. How, how are we gonna, you know, make this movie look? What's gonna be happening inside this movie? What, what props do we need? Where are we gonna go? Uh, how many videographers do we need? And uh, once all that's figured out, we pick a day, uh, we go out to our site, and normally we're there recording and kind of hanging out for about eight hours. And, uh, you know, once that's all finished, uh, the production side is, is what takes 
uh, the longest and you know the video goes into production and, and hopefully comes out you know in a couple days up to a week and uh, then, you, then you have the finished product and it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. When you're in production is it that you uh, just wing it or is it that um, that you plan it before you do it or? Well the, pr the production the scenes are kind of um planned out like we have a general idea but when you get there sometimes you're like wow this will look better or or that'll look better and then you know i want to always do some type of movement and the movement's always just on the spot you know uh, i never plan movement uh i just kind of feel the song out feel the videographer out feel the feel the place out and just vibe from there i've got to ask what are your goals for music as in um when the pandemic is over right Mm -hmm. and it gets over with i mean and things get back to semi-normal right yeah. um what are your plans for shooting music or making music are you do you have any things in the work right now um i got a lot of music in the work all the time so i'm constantly doing that process where i'm sitting down i'm looking for good beats and uh you know i'm having that creative creative vibe going where i'm writing music but in terms of, of getting out there after the pandemic, I'm really excited to start doing some shows and uh, getting to go see my fans, see people that are you know actually into the, the music I make and, and uh, get some more following and stuff like that. And uh, the goal for music is, is obviously to get noticed. I wanna get noticed out there. I want people to know that, hey, this guy's not messing around. This isn't just a one-time deal. This dude's serious and you know, work my way up. I'm, I'm trying to get to the top one day. Absolutely, you gotta work hard to the top if you wanna, you know, rap exactly. or rock and roll, you know? So where are some places that you have uh, goals of playing at? There, there's some venues in the Bay Area, uh, like San Jose and San Francisco, that uh, I know for sure when they open back up, I'm gonna be in because I get asked every week, hey, are you, you gonna come play here? Are you gonna play here? And uh, so that's gonna happen. And then I wanna venture out. Uh, in, in Sacramento, I'm gonna be doing some shows. And then hopefully in Oregon and some different states like that, I've been talking into doing some shows. It's just, uh, everything's kind of uh, by ear right now because there's, there's no confirmation. I can't just go out next week and, and perform for a ton of people because people aren't allowed to gather right now. Do you plan on releasing anything, like any music anytime soon? Are you working on stuff or? Yeah, I have an EP with another artist, uh, GD Gotti. That's my brother. I've known him for a long time. Uh, that we got in the works right now. It should be done, you know, in a couple weeks. And then I have some singles, some sneak peek singles coming out soon. Uh, and I look to have some more videos coming up. But again, uh, it, it takes a little bit of time right now. It's hard to get everything tied together. Right, exactly, exactly. So, okay. All right, where can people find your music at? Where can people search for you at, like social media-wise? Yeah, I am on all music streaming platforms. Uh, Spotify, uh, Apple Music, uh, Google Music. Uh, you can find me at Talon Space CB. Uh, same thing with my Facebook is Talon or underscore Talon, T-A-L-O-N, Browning, B-R-O-W-N-I-N-G. And again, that's for Facebook and Instagram. And uh, TikTok is same thing, Talon CB uh, on all, all kinds of platforms. Ready to go, baby, Talon CB. <laughs> Talon CB. Is there anything that you want to say to your subscribers out there or your followers or people that are supporting you, such as family, friends? Yeah, I appreciate everyone who's been following me, everyone who's got the support. You know, I got a bunch of good content coming out. So stay tuned. Tell your friends. Uh, we're going we're gonna to grow as a family here. It's the Talon CB family. Here we go. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> All right. Okay, I do have one more question before we go. All right. All right. What would you say to other artists out there that are having the same kind of goals that you are and um, that have the kind of motivation that you are um, if they want to follow their dreams, such as about music? Yeah, uh, that's a good one. I, I would say persistence is key. You know, you're going to come out with a bunch of music at first that's either not, not what you want it to be or... Um, 
just not not the best quality and the thing is it takes years to uh, you know get get enough stuff behind you to where you actually start poking into the game um, so persistence just stay with it make sure you keep that passion the, the fire burning behind why you even started music in the first place because you're gonna be in for a long ride and uh, you know when you get there it's beautiful it's a fun thing everybody could check out Talon on Facebook YouTube Twitter um, TikTok and many, many, many more that I will leave down in the description down below. Follow your dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Follow your dreams, like Town said. Go for it all the way. Keep on punching all the way. I'm Chris, and you guys subscribe to Town's channel down on the description. My channel, um, Tommy's channel. See you guys later. Bye for now.